Lights and welcome to a special edition of Marvel Live presented by Toyota Sienna. I am so excited because today we're talking about one of my favorite Marvel heroes, America Chavez. And we've got a really great show lined up. We're going to get really deep into who she is, what she's all about, what's going on, especially about the brand new America Chavez made in the USA comic book. We're going to have a special guest joining us to talk all about that. Before we even get to that, let's watch a brand new world premiere of the new trailer for the series right now. Heck yeah. All right. I am so excited for this series, but I'm also very excited because we have our very special guest for this episode, writer of the new America Chavez series, Kalinda Vasquez. Welcome to Marvel Live. Kalinda, how are you doing? Hey, Ryan. I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing great. I've got a warm kitty on my lap, which I'm going to keep out of the shot uh, <laughs> because this is Marvel Live. Anything can happen. We're very excited. Uh, look, we got to talk about America Chavez. I would love for you to tell me and to tell the audience, in your own words, who is America Chavez? Who is America Chavez? That is a great question. Uh, America Chavez is a young superhero with a complicated past. She is a young Latinx woman. She came from another dimension known as the Utopian Parallel. She lost her parents, her two mothers. Uh, when things went awry in the utopian parallel and fled that dimension into ours. And she is tremendously powerful. Um, she has super strength. You know, she can open up portals by stomping her feet. She can fly. She's, she's pretty great is basically the underlying sense. America Chavez, pretty great. Uh, for you coming in here, what attracted you to taking on America's story for your like big first foray into the Marvel Universe? Yeah, well, I was really excited um, to get the call from you guys. You know, America Chavez is a character that I had been following um, prior to that call. I had read her solo series and enjoyed uh, her adventures uh, in West Coast Avengers. And, uh, you know, I was drawn to her as a person. I think she's she is so powerful. Um, as far as her, you know, her super strength and her abilities go. And she presents a very strong image, you know, she's not someone who talks a lot about her flaws or her fears or her weaknesses, uh, which to me from a writer's perspective says, well, there has to be something underneath all of that, you know. What, what are the secrets that America Chavez carries? You know, I wanna know more about her crazy, you know, background and where she came from and what makes her, why she is who she is and why she is the way that she is. And so I thought that she would be a really intriguing character to tackle for all those reasons. I know we don't wanna spoil anything for, for the show, for the book. Uh, we, we've seen a couple things in the trailer, but what can you tease about what maybe some of the readers will learn about America, kind of based on some of your thoughts that you just, ju just mentioned? Yeah, I think we are going to learn more about the Utopian Parallel and where she comes from. And we're going to learn more about her family and her relationship to her family. And, you know, we're going to we're going to peel back some layers of the onion here. I think it's going to be exciting. Yeah, very cool. 
Um, this is not your first foray into comics. You've done some comics work before. And of course, a lot of fans know you from TV, from uh, Marvel's Runaways, from ABC's Once Upon a Time, um, among other projects. What's the collaboration process like for you when you're doing comics, uh, especially when you're working with like a smaller, <laughs> a smaller group than maybe on a TV show, particularly I'm thinking an artist, especially an artist that does such beautiful, explosive, emotive work as uh, as Carlos Gomez. Yes, well, it's so amazing to have Carlos on this book. He's such a talented artist and he has brought so much to the pages. It really is, um, as any comics fan knows, it's, it's a real partnership um, building out a book and he it's always exciting to you know get in the artwork after I've handed in my script and see what he's you know what he's done he just takes things and runs with them and I'm a huge fan of his artwork and it's also been great to work with the editorial team and uh, Annalise Bisa has really led the charge here on the editorial team as far as this book and she has wonderful insights and thoughts that she brings to it as well uh, so I do love that there is a collaborative element here just as there is in TV even though as you pointed out Ryan it is a smaller team but you know sometimes that's nice because everybody gets their voice heard there's not as much you know noise in the room not that there's anything wrong with noise but you know um, sometimes you can just move through things uh, more quickly and it's been it's been an awesome experience we talked a little bit about America's powers and abilities and stuff but one of the other traits that I and you, you kind of mentioned it, one of the traits I love about uh, America is how tough she is you know, like physically and in a lot of ways, it seems like she's been, you know, mentally and emotionally tough in a lot of ways. So what can actually hurt her? What's she vulnerable to? Well, you know, uh, if I can tease this much, I will say that that's some of what will be explored in this upcoming series as far as her vulnerabilities. Um, you know, right now she's, she's pretty impervious as far as superheroes go, you know. Um, Obviously, uh, it's not that she doesn't feel pain or can't be battered around, you know, she's fighting a giant beast or, you know, a super villain, like she's gonna feel those punches, but she has an amazing ability to bounce back. And I think that is part of what makes her so strong and unique as a hero. She's this next level of strength. But I think as far as her vulnerabilities, that is something that really, um, appeal to me to explore in this series because of course we know that all heroes have their weak points, uh, even America Chavez. America is also one of Marvel's fan favorite Latinx female characters, you know, great hero, uh, everybody loves her. And so what does that mean to you to actually be able to tell her story? Not necessarily like what you're excited for, but like stepping back, being able to think about what the character can mean to future fans and her current fans and telling that story. How does that affect you? And also, uh, will we see more of that side of her identity and her relationships? Absolutely. You know, I think I feel very honored to have the opportunity to carry, continue to carry the torch for America Chavez's story um, because, you know, she is a Latinx woman. She's a Latinx queer woman. And, you know, when I was a kid growing up and reading comics, there weren't too many of those types of heroes around. And, uh, you know, I am Latinx, and I think it's really exciting that younger readers will be able to continue to follow the story of America Chavez. And I, I hope that readers um, from all backgrounds will be able to be inspired by her story and will enjoy, you know, the diversity that comes from a different point of view. That's gonna be awesome. I'm excited to, to see all that come to fruition. What else can you say about the title? I think that if you like mysteries and if you like mysterious islands, then there will be something for you in this series. Ooh, <laughs> that's awesome, Clinda. I love mysteries, I love islands. I can't wait to see how it all comes together. Uh, so Clinda, thank you for being on Marvel Live. Thank you for having me. This has been so much fun. For sure. Uh, everybody else out there watching, make sure you check out America Chavez, made in the USA, number one on the Marvel app and in comic shops on March 3rd. 
And everybody out there, thank you for watching Marvel Live presented by Toyota Sienna. I'm Ryan Panagos, and this is Marvel, your universe.